Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another video for the channel. Uh, this video is basically thanks to Clutcher. Clutcher gave me an ID here. He mentioned, by the way, it, this is on the GitHub. I created a, a ticket, an issue. Constant stutter even with high-end hardware. I mentioned basically everything about my hardware, the things that I was using. Uh, in my particular case, I'm using Steam through the Debian package that you can literally get from the Steam site. Um, but we're also going to be testing the Snap version. And we're also going to be testing the the, the Flatback version. Also, I don't know what happened here with this image that was working before. Anyway, if we scroll down, um, Clutcher mentions, hey, dude, um, I'm, I'm using this uh, version of uh, Linux and this type of hardware and this and that. But I'm using the Steam from Flatpak. Okay, in his case, the Flatpak version actually lasted longer, six minutes, I think he mentioned, like something like six minutes. Yeah, before getting that stuttering effect. Okay, so he actually mentioned he, he, he was very uh, helpful giving me the, the hardware information that I needed to then determine, you know what, we actually need to test all three which is what this video is for. I won't be using Mango HUD because Mango HUD crashes on Flatpak based on Clutcher and based on other th uh, other people that I've read. And it it's too complicated for somebody that's starting out on Linux. So I've been using Linux for 24, 25 years already, something like that. And obviously for people like us, super easy. But for people that um, are migrating from Windows to Linux, I won't be talking about this. Even though there's a video on the channel about how to config, install and, and compile Mongo Hub for yourself and with the latest and greatest and blah, blah, blah. But for the this particular video, I won't be having Mongo Hub there. So I'm just going to have something called CQ NetGraph or something like that that Counter-Strike 2 comes with. So right now we're going to be testing the Debian version of Counter-Strike, okay? Every, in my particular case, every time I open Counter-Strike on the Debian package, let me lower the, the volume here, yep, um, it opens in like this weird window mode. Even though, even though it says full screen, so you gotta like change it and then put it back and then apply. Once you apply, the thing actually works and all that. Okay, let's play. You can see that it's not stuttering here. It loaded, when it loaded, it stuttered a little bit, but that, that's it, visually speaking. We're gonna start to play a game here. And we're gonna test how long it takes to start stuttering. That's basically it. On all three cases, if it helps, the Vulcan shaders take more or less the same amount of time. Okay. If you don't see the, the shaders loading here, it's because I, because of the amount of testing that I did with all three, what, five minutes ago or something like that. Okay, so right here. You can see the stutter is already kicking in. I'm teleporting the crapper. Hmm. Yeah, I'm teleporting everywhere. Oh, that, that, I was lucky there. Okay, whoever shot me there, I don't know why they did that, but anyway. <gasps> I don't know if when I'm stuttering, I'm also stuttering for everybody else. I, I don't know, like I'm teleporting. If I kill somebody, you just I'm lucky. That's all. Like if you kill somebody with this amount of stuttering, you are a lucky man. Oh.
Hurry. Anyway, you, you can see the stuttering. Let's enable the CQ net graph, I think it was. Yeah, okay, it's already enabled, I forgot. So, I don't know what that graph at the top right is for, but it should give us an idea of something. I don't even know how to read it, but anybody that sees the video will be able to determine. Oh, yeah, yeah, this guy was having horrible lag. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Hey. Congrats to the team. You can see my ping. It's not bad. I mean, well, everybody has a better one, but it's not bad. I mean, it's it's good. It's good. Especially I'm, I'm in Costa Rica, so remember, that's very good here. Um, okay, so that covers the Debian version. Let's stop this because I can't be running Steam two different environments there. Okay, so now we're gonna be running, and again, thanks, uh, Clutcher for the feedback and the idea here to to actually do this this video so let's run the flap hub version there you go if you don't know how to do this you go to flap hub dot uh, org and they have like a step by step you only it's like two lines you install the the flat pack package and then you install the the repository for from from them and that's it you're done you're a hacker okay so now we're in the flat pack version of this thing. Start the game. Okay. Again, same same issue there. It says full screen, but it's not. They're they're all by the way. They're all full graphics. Everything is like super over there. Start the game now for this one. Let's roll. Let's also uh, put the CQ net graph there. Can't do a space? What the hell? Like for real? I can't do one? Oh my god, I can't type a one. Okay, so in what do you call it? Do I have to alt tap or um two? How do we go back to that baby? There's the one. Okay. I had to uh, tap away from it. Okay, so we got the neck graph or whatever that is. Mother. Let's lower the volume there. There we go. Um. Let me do it like this. Oh. Yes. You saw how amazing I was. There's the ping, the latency. Now let's see how I go on the next map. Okay. Yep, same lag. You can feel it. You can feel the lag.
Yeah, we're, we're having that same stuttering effect, teleportation kind of thing there. That'll be a very difficult for me to actually shoot somebody. I'm recording at 60 FPS, so you should be able to see the that effect. Yeah, I'm lagging too much. Well, not like they just that stuttering thingy. Where I'm tele teleporting too much. No. Hey, hey, hey! No! <laughs> there was a hey! I caught you there, ah! Huh? Surprise! Bye! Got me too. But I cut you here. Ah, uh, yeah. Things happen. Oi! Look at that. Nice shot. Whoa! I, just, I knew he was shooting me, but I had to focus on the. What the? Oh, nice. Whee! Oh! Nice. Okay, anyway, you, you saw the lag, the... Yeah, yeah, all that nice things there. I mean even a chicken could kill me here. Wow, new sounds. I didn't know wow. Oh, sounds nice. Okay, let's jump to the other one. So this was the um, the flat pack. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the snap version okay so here's i got it i got it on the console just a normal snap not the um, what do you call it the the bleeding edge one because the bleeding edge supposedly works with bungle hut a little bit so i'm just testing the one that the typical user will be using okay so you saw that flat pack on Debian, it wasn't loading full screen properly. On this one, it is. Immediately. Two. You can see that there was no lag when it actually started out. Let me lower the volume. A little bit there. There we go. Thanks. And let's start out the game. Let's enable the CQ net. Graph and I, I can actually type a space there. I don't have to. I'll tap uh, the game for flatback. Okay. It feels snappier. Okay, it feels much better.
strange. Can he snipe somebody now? Because on the other ones I can't snipe. It's impossible for you to, to use a sniper without much stuttering. What the hell? Who the hell is... Okay, let's purchase a sniper here. See if I can kill somebody with a sniper. Okay. Right. Ooh. What? Why am I getting the feeling somebody's cheating or just got lucky or whatever? I died for real. Wow. Okay, immediately I can tell you there's no lag. No stuttering, I mean. I'm guessing the FPS is. And you can see that graph, that CQ net graph, whatever thingy at the top. It's beautiful. Okay, there's no weird behavior. Well, right now it is. But the thing is just working nice. Working nice. Working. Ooh, I suck. Scare me there. Yay! Counter strike works. Oh. Because of the stuttering, I haven't played since basically a year ago. Yeah. I think there's there's cheaters still. I haven't checked. You get my point. Like some people are like, hmm, that's too much of a coincidence. Whoop. Hi. Whoop. Anyway, see the stuttering? No stuttering. No nothing. Everything is nice and neat. Breathe, breathe here, breathe there, and then point, and then shoot, and then die. Okay, anyway, there's my thing, okay? Game works perfectly on, on the snap version, okay? Which means, most likely means, that it could be a package versioning, library versioning issue. 
meaning that either there's a difference in the version of some packages or libraries that are being used on the Steam version for Snap versus the Debian one that uses the system or the Flatpak that uses the basically the environment inside the Flatpak. That could something there potentially could be. So it could be that the actual Steam is not or the game in this case is not at fault with the uh, with the constant solder. Okay, I'm still gonna stay on the Debian one, but at least I hope that this video can actually help. Again, uh, thanks to Clutcher basically for uh, providing all that information there. If you have any comments, you can leave them on the on the YouTube comments below. But I left a link so you can also come here, provide your hardware that you're using, especially the CPU. Uh, distro that you're using, Steam package in this case now. Now that we see that the Snap version is basically working perfectly. Um, and that's it. That's that's all I can say for now. I'm not using this Snap version default from Steam mainly because of Mango Hut. The Mango Hut for me is very, very important. So I, I use it for basically having a way of going back in time and seeing how the performance for a particular game was on Linux uh, compared to today. So I, I was able to determine that, for example, Cyberpunk has actually had, with the same 49, it has better performance compared to a year ago or a year and something ago. So that's why I use Mango Hut a lot. But the moment that Snap works with Mango Hut out of the box, meaning I compile Mango Hut, and immediately I can just put the parameters, which I actually mentioned here, by the way, the, the ones that I'm using. Well, actually, up to, up to, holy jeez. Well, there, up to here, that's my default for all the games. Um, if that works, great, then beautiful. I, I'll just migrate to Snap and we're done because I can see that it has great performance, at least for Counter-Strike 2. I haven't tested something else so that if somebody has more feedback about that, I'm happy to to see it and 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 just put it there so he can contribute to the to the community, okay? But uh, thanks to everybody that's following me there, and we were able to determine that based on the package or the packaging for the Steam, some people could be affected and some people are just fine. Uh, I have a friend that also uses a Debian package. He has a three thirty ninety Nvidia, but his CPU. It's AMD. It's a, a 5,900 or 5,950, one of those two. Um, and on his computer, it runs perfectly, perfectly. Okay. Um, so just things there to, to take into consideration. Thank you very much. Big hugs to everybody as always. And think positive. Bye.